18 members were named to the Central Committee of the Frontline Socialist Party at its inaugural convention today. Prem, Kuna, Prem Kumar Gunaratnam, whose whereabouts are unknown, is at the forefront of the list of names. Dimutu Gala, who is also missing, has been named to the Central Committee of the Frontline Socialist Party. The first convention of the Frontline Socialist Party, which was formerly known as the Movement for People's Struggle, was held at the Sugadadasa Indo Stadium this morning. The party's work plan and policy statement were unveiled to the public at the convention. The proposal to strengthen the movement against disappearances and abductions that was forwarded by SK Subasingha on behalf of the board secretaries of the party was accepted at the convention. More than 59 disappearances have been reported during the past six months. Around 29 have disappeared within the last month or two. This includes four members of our party. We are faced with a political culture where abductions take place irrespective of whether they are Tamil, Muslim, Sinhala or if they are political party leaders or activists. They know that a political movement is forming that could stand up against liberal capitalism and that is capable of commencing a new chapter. That is why politically we have been targeted. <laughs> Now leading members of the government are saying that Comrade Kumara was not in the country. The thousands of people who have gathered here met him during the past five or six months. We held discussions together. Comrades Kumara and Dimuthu did not teach us to surrender. Representatives of other political parties also expressed their views at the convention. This regime is now using suppression to stem the growing anger in society against their agenda carried out on the pretext of standing up to imperialist forces. They are misleading the majority Sinhalese by inciting racism using the Tamil opposition as its weapon. If the left unites, we will be able to present a clear path as part of the common struggle that is building up. We are pleased about your policies with the expectation of unity. This capitalist government should be toppled and a socialist non-capitalist government should be established. There is no other way for the public to experience independence and democracy. <laughs> The party pledge and the official website were also announced. The 18-member Central Committee was named at the end of the convention. Premakumar Gunaratnam, Sena Dira Gunatilaka, Dimutu Atigala, G. Kularatna and Champika Subasinghe are frontline members of the Central Committee. Chamira Koswata, Duminda Nagamo and Sujit Kuruwita, who were university student activists, are also included in the Central Committee.